Yo, we're in focus. Yo, yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Afsal Hussain, founder and CEO of officialcvdoctor.com. Link is below, make sure you check out the website. Now, I'm here to help you get the career of your dreams by smashing interview questions along the way. Turn on post notifications, make sure you like the video if you do like the video, make sure you leave a comment if you've got an interview question that you're struggling on, and make sure you share this video with your friends, peers, and colleagues so that you can help them get career advice and value for free. All right, now let's get straight into it. If you're a university student, when you're applying for all these grad schemes, they're gonna ask for a cover letter, they're gonna ask for a CV and then basic details. Before we go ahead, below in the description of this video, I'm gonna link an article I wrote for eFinancial Careers. So they're a financial careers company, and so I wrote an article for them on top tips for cover letters. So the link is below. That goes into more depth, so make sure you check that out. But yeah, I would say, look, it's important. This is, so when I was at, um, when I wrote cover letters for getting into the world of investment banking, I followed a basic structure. Three paragraphs, not too much information. They haven't got time to read all that information. Keep it to less than a page. About 70 to 80% of a A4 page paper, of A4 paper. And you wanna hit three points. Why the company that you're applying for? Secondly, why that specific business unit division or area within the company and then third why you as an individual now when you hit the first point why that company you can't just make it basic and applicable to every other company you want to make it specific to that company so a good way good thing to do is go on the website don't say i want to join this company because it's got 20 different offices in 10 different countries because every other every, most students the top students that or the top applicants that are going to get the offers are not going to write that basic stuff find specific niche things that the company is working on you want to touch on the leadership maybe you want to touch on specific things they're working on specific markets that they've entered current deals that are important to the company the company's culture leadership a good thing to do whether in your first section why the company or the second section why this business area is if you've met someone in that industry or in that company you can name drop after attending a networking event i met so and so and then drop their name and they touched on the culture of the company and this really appealed to me so either have that in the first part or the second part so first part company specific make sure you do your research just a good a good tip i would say is write the company's name in google and then search it and then hit news see what news comes up and then you get lots of information there but yeah the, the more specific to the company the more niche the better then comes the second point second paragraph why do you want to work for this specific division within the company. Now it's important to get across your interests and desire to work for that area. So this is where you're gonna to touch on previous projects or work experience that you might have had, or your genuine interest, why you are interested. So for me, I was interested in working in asset management because I wanted to work in an area of the business that focused on long-term relationships rather than short-term relationships. I wanted to use my interpersonal communication and you know people skills and so asset management was an area that I could apply those skills. Although you can apply them to various different industries, I understood that asset management of all the front office roles within investment banking provided a good work-life balance and that was something I prioritized. The people I met within asset management came across interesting, motivated and inspired me. The work that asset managers did, investing money for large institutions, pension schemes and insurance companies, for example, um, in order to make sure pensioners, for example, were getting paid when they retire. I felt this was something that is interesting and something that I wanted to do or be a part of. Now, the final bit is why you, why do you, as an individual suit or how can you sell yourself why should they choose you over the next candidate here you're literally going to be selling yourself selling the skills you have key skills to touch on interpersonal skills um, communication skills attention to detail key knife for detail analytical skills all these things specifically if you're looking at investment banking but they can be applied to all industries to be fair so it's general human interpersonal skills basically human soft and hard skills that you want to focus on and how you're going to do that is you touch on your previous experiences. So when I was at the PwC Insight Academy, I worked alongside lots of other students and like-minded individuals, and we worked on various group projects. As a result, we had to present our final projects in front of a senior panel of 
partners at the organization. This helped me develop my team working skills and my public speaking skills and as a result made me realize that I might be more suited to a role within sales rather than blah blah blah. Something like that. You can, you know, use something like that. Um, so you just touch on an experience, say the skills you learn and what was the outcome. So cover letter structure, why the organization, one paragraph, second paragraph, why the specific business area within the organization, and then the final paragraph, why you as an individual are best suited to join that company and that position. If you found that useful, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you found that useful, and share it with any people that you think might also find it useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back in the next few days with another video with another solution to how to smash your interview questions. Thanks for watching. Peace.